Hello everyone, welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. It's Barry here and Mrs. Barry. Hello! Wait <laughs> for me. Sorry. Is it too much? No, it's just only just December. In fact, we're filming this in November. It's the 1st of December. Mrs. Barry loves Christmas. Um, <laughs> today we're showing you three really fun, easy Christmas. <laughs> oh my God. Look, Elton John. <laughs> You bought me these last Christmas, do you remember? Last Christmas. A yes, party. we need Christmas no. music playing. That's All better. Right. Now I look like Elton John. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so we're not sure if we're going to do loads of Christmas recipes this year. Uh, we're mulling it over, but we just figured with it being the 1st of December, we thought, right, let's just get this out there so you guys can have a look at it, yeah. get some inspiration, dress like Elton John. <laughs> but here we go. These are pretty darn awesome. They are good. First one, Mrs. B, is... It's snowman truffles. Oh, yes. Not a whole snowman, just the snowman's head. Yeah, it kind of gives off the impression that the snowman is melted as well. Yes. I quite like that. Uh, basically, Oreo truffles. So uh, this is how you make those. First up, put your Oreos into a bag and bash away. Now this is really good if you're feeling really frustrated. You can even make a funny face if you want. You go, Urgh. What have you had? <laughs> you just like sniffed some Christmas dust or something. <laughs> I love Christmas, yeah. I'm very excited. You did make a funny face as you are bashing away there, but yeah, you get it nice and bashed up so it's nice fine crumbs. With your cream cheese in a bowl, add your orange extract followed by your Oreo crumbs. Give that a good mix together. We're just adding the orange extracts because it just takes a little bit of sharpness out of that cream cheese. You could use any extract, maybe mint, that's quite Ooh, festive, isn't it? that is. Uh, mix it all through. At first it will look quite snowy in colour, quite white, but you want to keep going to get it like more of a dark consistent colour because yeah. that's fully bonded. Take a handful of the mixture and roll it between your hands. You want a good golf ball size looking so then you've got your snowman's head, right? That's right, you do basically created a head. It doesn't look like a head yet but trust us on this. On the baking parchment and goes in the fridge. The sweet sound of drilling. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> These are going in the fridge. <laughs> Ideally overnight? Yeah, you want it to Set overnight, mm. but if you're a bit pushed for time, you could do it like an hour or yeah. two. Yeah, we'll shove it in the freezer. Melt up some white chocolate, and then you're just gonna plop your Oreo truffle into the bowl. And you right. say plop, and you actually did plop. I did, you told me to. I did, yeah, I thought it looked quite cool, but. Yeah, plop. <laughs> and that goes, coat the ball in chocolate using a spoon, and then lift it out gently with a fork. This will help some of the excess chocolate run away, and then place it down, and it should form a teeny little puddle, which will look like melted snow, and also give it something to stand on, right? Yeah, it does. It's cool. It's really good. Allow these to set in the fridge for five minutes, any longer, and you might get a condensation layer around the snowman's head, right? Yeah, that's it. If you leave it in too long, it'll get water, so that when you try and ice it later, it'll just run off and droop away. Yes. So you, you kind of don't want that. But if that does happen, you could just pat it with some kitchen towel. But if you're using baking chocolate, it, it will actually set at room yeah. temperature as well. So if you're patient with it, like give it 10 minutes, and then you can make this snowman look mm. like a snowman. Yes. In terms of decorating it, we just make a smiley face with some icing pens and some eyes, and you can roll up some orange icing, ready rolled, to form a carrot. You shove that on there, and for the hat, there's a nice little finishing touch, right? Yes, we found some mini Oreo biscuits, mm. and we just put a little bit of icing on them, and then stuck it to the side of the snowman's head. We did give him a little lopsided hat, didn't we? We did, a little bit like a tilt, tilt. tilt thing, like a gangster snowman truffle, but there we go. That is looking awesome, right? Yes, almost too good to eat. Do you want to eat a snowman? Ah, mm. oh, 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 I knew you'd do that. Oh, mom. So we have got a scene of us eating it, which hopefully you've seen now, but uh, we were going to eat again, but we realised we gave some to the builders. <laughs> <laughs> Just to keep them happy, you know? So uh, that's it. That's the first one down. The second one of these recipes are these super cool, simple 3D looking reindeers. They are 3D looking. I was like, one day I thought it was like virtual reality then, but they are three dimensional reindeers that look so good. Uh, they're quite minimal and very easy to chuck together too. They uh, are. Um, basically the most important thing you need these like uh, mini rolls we have them here in the UK. They're like like a chocolate Swiss roll wrapped in chocolate. Yeah. So I'm sure you have some sort of local variation. The other things you need for these are some chocolate matchsticks for the legs, pretzels which we cut in half for the antlers. I can't say it, antlers. <laughs> <So> then... Antlers? <laughs> they're like French. Just take off the top and the bottom a little bit and they look pretty cool. 
They do, um, and some red ready made icing, some black icing and some buttercream. So the first thing you do is take your loggy thing, that's the technical term, yes. loggy thing, and shove in your pretzel antlers. Do it a little bit back, uh, so they're in there, and then once they're stuck in, they, well, they look like they look antlers. They like right, yeah. yeah. Then you're gonna put in the chocolate matchsticks for the legs, so you want two at the front and two at the back. You do, I would, <laughs> unless you want to do some sort of weird like reindeer wildebeest with three at the front and one at the back, but yeah, you could yeah, do that. That could kind of work. Good it's your reindeer. Yes. Make it your own. Be creative. Turn it into a spider, shove more matchsticks in it. We've got some uh, buttercream that we've made many a time on the channel here. Just a small blob of that smeared on one side of the log will create the face background. Uh, yes. You could actually do the back to create a little bit of a bum if you want to do a tail, but we accidentally done yeah. that anyway. Uh, the chocolate crack. Yeah. And it works. Like a tail. Yeah. Push in your ball of red icing oh, for the nose. That's just like Ray Rudolph. Yeah. And it's a Ray Radolf then. Radolf. <laughs> then um, the small ball of black icing for the mouth, and then followed by the two eyes. Nice. And that's basically it all done. You've got yes. this awesome self-standing chocolate reindeer. Now we probably picked the worst time to ask the girls to try it out when they just finished school. They're really tired. Like, here, we're gonna Have film this. you trying these reindeers. Like. That's nice. Nice, nice. thanks. So, but We're honestly, tired. they did like them. Yeah, they and they're did. pretty cool, right? Yeah. The last one is my absolute favourite. This it is looks so good. So good. Yes. It's, it, what is it? What is right, it? Oh, sorry. I better tell you what it is. <laughs> it's a um, rice crispy Christmas tree. No, it's not. I just thought of this. It's a rice Christmas tree. Oh, oh yeah. I was worried then. I was like, yes, that is what we do. <laughs> oh, no. oh, we have to get our Christmas tree down from the loft soon. Once a year, I do that pilgrimage up there. Might do that on the vlog channel, actually. Oh. Anyhow, uh, to make this... No, don't. No? Don't get on the vlog. You'll <laughs> see me is... getting all protective over the tree. Yeah, she's very like, the ball ball goes there. I'm like, it's just a tree. <laughs> the dogs want to try and wee against it. It's all good. Um, first thing we do is get some baking parchment. Now, Mrs. Barry uh, cut this into a circle. Uh, we didn't actually record this, but she's very protective of that circle, weren't you? Well, no. I thought you were going to say about the cones. I, you got to then um, roll the semicircle into yeah. a cone shape, which... Yes, yeah, so you get two out of one circle. Yeah, I struggled with. She did off camera. I didn't want to show that. It didn't feel right, but um, I've never seen yes. someone so confused over a piece of paper before. <laughs> I was like, how does this semicircle yeah. turn into a cone? But I... Well, wow, you did it. Yeah, you roll it up, you get I, a pointy end, seal it with a bit of sellotape, and you have got yourself a baking parchment cone. Yes. I was thinking about it far too much. Mm. I think you're doing origami. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Melt up some white chocolate, and then you're going to turn this white chocolate green like a tree. Ooh. Now we use... <laughs> green like, like a, a tree. tree. <laughs> I don't know. I just like, like a Brussels sprout. Well, it could be like a Brussels sprout, yeah. yeah. Uh, we used oil-based um, food colouring, because mm -hmm. that... Works with best white, when you dye yeah, chocolate, right? Especially white. white chocolate can seize. Okay, so mm. we did that. Mix it all until you've got a lovely green colour. Mm -hmm. And then just add in your Rice Krispies and mix away. So mix away, oh, get I them all nice that. and coated. Looking gorgeous, swimming in that lovely green mm. chocolate. Yes. And with that, you can then use uh, your cone mould that you'd made so easily earlier on. <laughs> and the first couple of ones that you get in, it's quite important, get yourself something small and thin like a bamboo skewer and push the first few in so you get that real nice point on the end of the tree. And as you add more in, just keep pressing it in so that way you fill out the maximum area of your cone mold. Yes. Keep filling your cone with your Rice Krispies until you reach the top of the cone and then level it off nice and flat. So that is gonna form the base of the tree. Nice flat surface, yeah. Shove it in a cup uh, to keep it upright and whack it in the fridge to firm up. 20 minutes is probably the most yeah. minimum you could get away with or just however long, leave it in there forever. To decorate it, we used our leftover buttercream from the reindeer and some multicolored chocolate baubles and we just gently stuck them around the tree and they look pretty cool. It right? does actually look, you could, could have got like really shiny ones reflected but mm. I quite liked the like the bright colours against the green. Yeah, or stars, you could use stars. Well, we had that idea. That was going to be it generally but then Mrs Barry told me about a secret stash of chocolate we have in a tin behind us there. Yes. That bottom one is full of chocolate bars. Yes. I never knew that. And in there we found uh, some Rolos. Rolos. Yeah. Yes. So we put three Rolos together to make a triangle, put a bit of buttercream on the top, and then stuck the Christmas tree on top of the Rolos and it looked like a little tree stump. It did. Awesome. It really cool. And then we finished it with the ultimate Christmas-esque. Yes. Dust of ice and sugar. Look at that. 
going all over there, looking absolutely gorgeous, makes it look like snow. And with them all lined up together, our three homemade Christmas trees. It's looking amazing. It does. They, oh, too good to eat. There we are then folks, uh, we really hope you give these a go now. Don't forget to send us a picture, picture of yes. your attempts. And any ideas that you want us to make for Christmas or any other theme, let us know. Yeah, because these were actually made up of your ideas. Follow us on social media for behind the scenes bits and bobs and other stuff. Like we do some little recipes now that we don't put on the channel, so little hidden stuff. Yes. Check it out and remember to subscribe for regular videos. So, uh, should we'll we go? Yes, see you next yeah. time. Bye. Bye. Try this. <laughs>